So for today, we're going to be looking at the new ornaments that the Titans got. Don't worry, Warlocks, you guys will get your own video. Hunters, you already got one. It should be right here if you guys want to check it out. But Titans, let me just be real quick. Y'all probably got the best fed from the whole classes just because both of these ornaments are absolutely fire. So thank you for liking, comment, subscribing. It really does help. I really do appreciate it. The analytics have been looking really good. And I just advise y'all just keep pushing it and I really appreciate it. So other than that, let's get into it. So for the first one we're going to be looking at is the Abyss Inverted for the Heart of Inmost Light. I think this is a dub ornament. Obviously, you're going to be looking at it right now. I think it looks amazing. The really cool thing is we do have one shader in the game that actually does turn off the shader or the glow. I'll show you in the example set because I do use it. But overall, I am such a fan of this exotic ornament. It's really cool. You can do a lot of cool things with it. It's very versatile, which means you can use it with pretty much any look and it'll still look really cool. The base look of it is very like Taken themed, which is unfortunate because we don't have a lot of Taken themed items or a shader for that matter. So it is going to be annoying to do it with, but we do have Hive themed armor from King's Fall. We have the Dungeon Armor Grasp of Avarice, which is the thorn themed armor which you can mix in with hive themed armor we have a bunch of armor sets that you can use with this but you can also just do whatever you want and take the glow off which is what i will be doing most of the time as for how it shaders i think it shaders really well again you will notice that the glow is there and again i will show you a shader that actually turns off the shader or the glow i mean and yeah it shaders really well you can see the glow is coming from the stomach all the way up to the chest piece even the scars on the chest has glows as well and I don't really have too much to say about the glow or the shader itself, because again, the plate is taking the shader really well. And then you see the under plate, which is taking the off color, which is the blue color for Echoed Anger. Overall, I really do like it for Abyssinian Gold. All the pieces look exactly how I think it would look. The, the glow is exactly the red that I would expect it to be. The chest piece is also the brown underneath is black. It, it all just makes sense. As for the example set, I have seen a lot of Titans combine the helmet from the new dungeon, specifically the cowboy helmet with the abyss inverted with the shader off. So I just kind of decided to go in with it. And for the helmet, obviously the cowboy helmet, because it looks so crisp, the arms, I went with the Starfarer's gauntlets, but you could also use the intrepid exploit gauntlets, which is probably what I should have gone with because I do think it looks really cool. But the Starfarer's Gauntlets, I like them a lot because of the leather uh, shoulder pads. I think that that looks really well. For the boots, we're using the Ancient Apocalypse Greaves because I feel like this is the better uh, choice for boots, specifically for a cowboy theme, just because the boots at the bottom. I feel like just those boots like just scream cowboys to me. And if you guys don't know, the Ancient Apocalypse set is basically like a space cowboy look, at least most of the pieces. And then for the mark, we're using the Intrepid Exploit mark because of the holster. I think the holster is very important. And overall, you can see that I've been using a bunch of different shaders for this. So let's go through each shader one by one. Metro Shift for the helmet, it, I chose it because it has such a dark black to it that I wanted the hat to be a little bit darker than everything else. The Skelegal for the arms was the best choice because of the fact that it just combined everything into black because this piece has a lot of pieces that change color. So I wanted to, to have everything black. Obviously, I wanted to go with an all black look with this set just because Cowboys and all black just makes sense to me. This is important for the for the glow to be turned off. You need to use the Chitin Slate shader. Specifically, this shader came out in Season of the Undying, if I remember correctly, with the Empyrean Cartographer set, because if you guys don't know, the Chitin Slate is actually the Empyrean Cartographer shader. So if you're ever wanting to use that shader on other armor, Chitin Slate is the shader that you're looking for. I don't know if you can get it now. Uh, I, I, I haven't seen Eververse sell it. You might be able to get it from a drop, but this is the shader that turns off glows. And in some cases, we'll just turn the glow either to a solid or make it black. And I mean, super black. So this is a really useful shader for the boots. Amethyst Veil is probably the best choice for this, just because for the ancient apocalypse, you guys will see that on the kneecaps, there's like silver there. Uh, any other black that you use most of the time will have another color there. And I didn't want to have I didn't want to have like a red or any color like that. I wanted this just to be black and silver. I feel like is fine because the chest piece, if you guys can't see, 
the under armor is actually white so i was like fuck it i i can like in my head combine the fact that like i'm using silver and white i don't really mind that too much and then for the mark i ended up using the bissonian gold just because it's a really good black and not a lot of brown if any in this set so this is legitimately one of my favorite sets right now is it I'm going to be real with you guys. This is not like my own set that I made. This is more of a, just a variation that I've seen a lot of Titans do. Like I've seen like a few members of my clan are using this set, specifically the helmet and the chest piece. I've seen people in other discords use this. So it's not just like, oh, I made this. I really didn't make this. At least the helmet and the, and the, the chest piece I didn't do. The boots and the mark, I think would be my twist on it. But yeah, Titans, let me know what you guys think. I just wanted to showcase this because I did think it's a such a cool set that I wanted just to showcase it. Honestly, again, not my own thing. I didn't make this, but it is a variation of a set that I've seen. So times let me know what you guys think. As for the last ornament, we're going to be looking at Dune Marcher, specifically Mayrin's Odyssey. This is probably the coolest Dune Marcher's ornament right now for me, just because it's symmetrical. One for one, I, I love that it's symmetrical. Two, I love the geometry. I love all of the pieces. To be fair, I'm a big fan of the Forge Armor. The Forge Armor to me is just magnificent. But overall, I really like all of these pieces. They just look amazing. And as for how it shaders, it shaders amazingly as well. You guys will notice in the back of the boots, you will see that there's a lot of white for Echoed Anger, which is the off color. So just be aware that it is taking off colors in the back. As for Abyssinian Gold, it is taking black, which is usually either off color or not, or the main color. I can never tell with Abyssinian Gold, but since it's taking the off color of Echoed Anger, just uh, just be aware that it might be taking either the off color, the main color, or both sometimes. So, shadering wise, the front looks amazing, and the back is usually going to be either or for you. Uh, most of the time, it's probably not going to bother me, especially if I combine it with other pieces that are incorporating the off color but I just want to make you aware so that way you can be aware and do everything accordingly. As for the example set, I am using two pieces of the Forbidden Visage set just because I stopped caring, honestly. So let me let me explain my thought process. The helmet, we're using this Masquerade's helm. I love the geometry in combination with the arms and everything else. I think it looks really cool. The arms and chest piece. So let me explain a few things. The chest piece I'm using because I feel like it looks really good with the boots and i could not find arms that look good with this chest piece that i felt comfortable with so that's why i'm using the forbidden visage gauntlets i will say that i was thinking about using the bulletsmith's ire stuff specifically the the one from the raid from season of the forge the reason i didn't want to use it is because i don't like how it looks on female titans to be fair it, i don't think the arms look good in general same thing with the chest piece i was also thinking about using the season activity armor from season of the forge but also at the same time i didn't like the arms how they looked and i'm already using a piece from season of the forge the activity armor specifically the forge machinist mark so i didn't want to go too overboard with it so i just decided fuck it i'll just use forbidden visage because it just looks really good for the shader sato tribe was an easy choice just because the forbidden visage set uses a lot of blue which goes really well with sato tribe if i'm being honest i think that whole set was just made with sato tribe in mind for the mark we're using the forge machinist mark i think this mark is really cool especially with this set because i wanted to showcase the boots more than anything else which is why i use the machinist set because the only mark you can see is like two strands on the hips and then one in the back which also showcases the that U. I don't, I don't remember what it is, but that U symbol on the thighs, you also see it in the back of the mark. So overall, this one is such a cool set. I would definitely rock this because, again, two pieces of the same set doesn't bother me in certain situations. It does, like, for example, Warlocks. Unfortunately, I don't like it when you guys combine like a chest piece, the same chest piece with the same helmet, because at that point, it looks like the same set, unfortunately. And that rule also does kind of apply to Titans and Hunters but more so for warlocks in my opinion there's certain situations where two pieces is not good but for me arms and chest piece uh, i don't, i don't really care about that chest piece and helmet depending on how it looks it might look samey so titans let me know what you guys think i think you guys ate well i think the marin's odyssey stuff is super super dope i love the chest piece that you guys got for heart of inmost light i think that's such a cool ornament thank god bungie is selling these for bright dust this season because i'm gonna get both of these but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below i 
we'll see you guys in the next video i was gonna i was gonna start saying i have a lot of things planned but i didn't want to say this because you guys probably already know this so be safe and i'll see you guys later